Nursing Standard UK reports exploitation of overseas care nurses by their employers. According to them, these nurses are being forced to pay ridiculous fees in thousands, up to £15,000 as relocation charges. And they are also being faced with unfair treatment at their workplace, which includes and is not limited to unsafe and substandard accommodation, salary owing, bullying and harassment. This video will highlight the sad and devastating reality of overseas care nurses, how to identify good and bad employers and tackle similar situations. If this update interests you, kindly keep watching this video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is MJ. For those of you who are watching me for the very first time, and on this channel, I share with you reliable updates centered around nursing practice in the United Kingdom. I also share with you migration tips to other countries, lifestyle, and phone vlogs. So if this kind of video interests you, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn my post notification bell on so that you are the first to get notified when I share new videos and just to let you know i share new videos every week just before we go into the update for today i would like to put this out there i am not an immigration officer neither am i a recruiter so all i do is solve the internet for reliable information and share them with you so be very careful in the comment section there are individuals that are pretending to be me i do not know them if you'd love to reach me personally kindly send me an email on nosemj01 at gmail.com without wasting much of our time let us get started according to a recent report overseas social care nurses are being forced to pay eating fees and this eating fees it means that they are eating in their contract this is largely due to the fact that overseas nurses a lot of overseas nurses are desperate to get a job in the united kingdom so these unscrupulous employers feed on them in the united kingdom we basically have three sectors we have the nhs the private and the care sector care sector i'll put care homes nursing home residential care homes everything under the care sectors and if you ask me which one of these do i recommend i always recommend working for the nhs and this is because the nhs is funded by the government so structures rules and regulations are being made by the government it's very rare for nhs employers to treat you like trash unlike the private sectors they are being funded privately so they treat you according to the business needs with the care home sector they are similar to the private sectors most care homes are privately funded so these employers can act anyhow as an individual like myself i can have a care home in the united kingdom which are really not so much under the you know under the under the scrutinization of the government because they are privately funded this is why i always always encourage nurses overseas nurses to run as far as they can away from care homes if they have other options but these days getting a job in the united kingdom is quite challenging so everyone will rush and go for what they can get this is how the fall victim of these horrible and wicked employers now let's take a look at some of the life reports from the registered nurses my care a registered nurse says it feels like just a mere commodity to his employers and is currently being asked to pay ridiculous fees back of course they know that they have to pay certain amount of money back but they didn't know that it's gonna be this i mean up to this extent i mean you should know what they are getting themselves into they should know how much they have to pay you back ideally when employers bring you into the United Kingdom, they are taking full responsibility that they are sponsoring you. So accommodation, up until you are a bit settled into the UK, they are responsible for that. And as long as you maintain the other terms of the contract, you should not have to pay them any money back any employer that cannot afford to sponsor an overseas nurse should not be in the business of employing anybody 
to be very honest. But yeah, because the government is not really putting system in place to check these employers, everyone with a KO now wants to employ from overseas because they feel that from overseas they can get cheap label. Another registered nurse also confirmed that the contract that she signed was very deceiving. Her employers are holding back her pay because according to them, she needs to work for them and pay them back all the money that they have spent during our relocation process. I cannot believe that in this economy, some people are not getting paid. Can you believe it? That this is happening in the United Kingdom. Like, it is unbelievable. When I saw this news, I'm like, am I still in the UK? Am I still in the Sena climb? Like, honestly, what is going on? The government really, really need to look into this. Agnes also reports that on a day off, she will get caught by her employer to know if she's doing anything important. And if she's not, she'll be called to come in and work because she has to go and work to make back the money that they used to bring her to the United Kingdom. People are going through very horrible things. Let us talk about how to identify good and bad employers. So I'm gonna give you a few pointers. One is their attitude towards you during your interview. I've, I've taken an interview before and I knew right on the spot that you am not working for this employer. Even though you are desperate for a job, don't open your eyes and walk into fire by yourself. You can just tell it. You can feel that bad vibe from how they respond to your questions, from their body language. Then please take your exit and don't take a job from them. Number two is the support available for staff. During your application, some of them will attach, you know, the support available for staff, what they will do for you, blah, 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 and you can read that up. But if you still want to ask them, please go ahead. During your interview, you should also ask your interviewer's question. And after they have asked you their own question, ask them your own question. What are the supports available for staff in your organization? So the kind of support they have available, maybe they have a black society or a black community support uh, and any other thing that you, you really want to have at your workplace, you can tell if they will be a good and supportive employer. Number three, the contract. The contract, before you sign that contract, there are certain things that you should look out. A lot of individuals do not know what to check in their contract. They don't even know what is a bad or a good contract. So in this kind of situation, if you don't know what to check in your contract, I actually have a video on the five things that you should look out for in a band five job contract. Please check that video and that video can be a pointer to you. Another way to, you know, read through your contract and know what to look out for is sharing it with your colleagues. If you have colleagues that have gotten jobs overseas, abroad, United Kingdom, speak with them, compare contracts with them. That what was your own contract like? This is what you're saying in my own contract. Please, when you get your contract, read it with a microscope and make sure you keep a copy of that contract. It's really that important. Number four is the employment conditions. This is quite similar to the contract. There are some conditions that you should never settle for no matter how desperate you are. For instance, saying that you have to pay a certain amount of money back and without a clause. What if I am working with you and I'm being bullied and harassed, you know, I'm not being supported and I need to stop working for you. Then there should be a clause to that. So please, you need to know if they say you're going to pay a certain amount of money back in your contract, then you want to know how much how much do I have to pay back? And if you're working with an employer and you're working in probably a sector that you don't like, you want to do an internet transfer, you shouldn't have to pay any kind of money back. So please know the employment condition and also know when to react. Know when to react to certain situations. You know, some people silently, they are dealing with these kind of things, but they don't know how to seek help. They don't know what to do to seek help. And this is where having a membership, having a professional indemnity cover, having a union 
your membership comes in people come into the uk and they just think they can do life by themselves please this is abroad you cannot do life by yourself you need to be you need to be ready to guard yourself fight for yourself and you cannot do this alone you need the help of a union you need a community so this is where having a membership comes in there's unison there's rc and there are lots of other membership that you can join for a monthly fee so please take responsibility for yourself so that you don't get left alone in this kind of odd situation and finally always read up reviews about these employers glassdoor is one website that you can check out your employer come and check what they are doing behind their closed doors you will see lots of reviews from employers feedback from from employees rather than have worked with them so always read up reviews there are reviews all over the internet read up about that employer know know what their employees are saying about them know what their past employees are saying about them know what the community generally is saying about that organization while i do understand that every one of us wants a job everyone wants to get a job abroad please make sure you play your part make sure you do your assignment do some research about that employer before you go for them because you might be walking right into fire trust me there are lots of employers out there if you take your time you will get a better offer so if any employer has more of red flags than green flags then you should pick your ears and run far away from them we've come to the end of this video if you did find this video helpful kindly like and share if you're yet to subscribe to this youtube channel kindly subscribe and turn my post notification on i'll see you guys next time bye